One of the things I've always loved about Linux is the fact that if things aren't working the way you want them to, you can make them work the way you want them to. In recent years, one of the things I've found really frustrating with Linux is the handling of touch panels. Namely, here it works fine. Dun, 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 and things are happening the way you expect. And blah, blah. But, if I now plug in an external uh, touch panel, like so, you'll see now, when I touch, it doesn't go where my hand is. So, I've done something about this. If I run this command now, bonk, and now I have my touch works correctly again. And not only that, but the touch on this panel is working as well. So this here is between two different touch panels. Let's turn on the projector. So you'll see here, up over there, um, I've got the projector hooked up. Now if I go and touch around up here, things are still configured for that, that touch panel. So they're wrong, but they don't look incredibly wrong here. So now if I go over here and I just go and run this command again, now this is all happening as we expect again. Not only that, we still have the uh, projector doing its thing as well. So what the user will care about with this is that you're running one command, which goes and fixes all of your uh, touch panel problems. Um, from a how you use it point of view, you want to have the smallest number of things plugged in as possible uh, to begin with. So in this case, you have a laptop screen and a touch panel. Run the command, uh, plug in something, run the command. It goes, oh, here's a new thing that's not associated with anything. It goes and associates those plug in another thing, it goes, oh, here's a new thing um, that's not associated with the thing, it goes and associates those. Meanwhile, it calibrates everything that it knows that is currently plugged in. Where I want to head with this in the very near future is I want to make this a user space service. So uh, it will listen to Dbus or whatever else appropriate method we end up choosing, but probably Dbus will be the way. I want to listen for all sorts of events like there's a new device plugged in, um, there's a resolution change, there's a layout change, all this type of stuff. So then, um, whenever those events come straight through, there's no need to run the command, um, it will just go and recalibrate things straight away. I think we're a week or two away from that, it's uh, pretty easy. Um, I've got a to-do list, which you can have a look at yourself. I'm going to put lots more information in the blog post because I don't want to overload this video with details. But this is the tool that I've been wanting for so long and it's a very simple tool. There's not much to it. I've documented it. I've, um, I'm in preparations for putting unit tests in there. Um, I think I've made it all easy to understand but feel free to ask questions. Um, this is going to make touch screens on Linux um, so much easier to use than they have been in the past and I'm really, um, I'm already finding this so much a relief and um, I really look forward to seeing where this goes in the, in the near future. Um, if you'd like to get involved, pull requests are very welcome. Um, like I say, I've got the to-do list um, sitting there. Um, if there's anything in particular that you want to make it do, feel free to do that. Um, one of the things I want to do further down the track is to start building a list of common things that often go together, i.e. this particular screen and this particular touch panel generally go together. So then if you get in a situation where you're plugging in multiple devices in a very short space of time, it's less likely to get confused. That's all I'll say about that for now. Um, I'm really happy with this. Um, it'd be really cool if people want to get involved and contribute pull requests. Um, if you find bugs, report those. There are bugs. Um, but it's already working um, well enough that it's a massive step up from what's available already. Um, if you know of any competing tools, I haven't found them. So if you know of any competing tools, well, hey, um, let me know. Um, maybe it's better I direct people towards those instead, or maybe this is better, maybe there's something I can contribute to them, or vice versa, or whatever. Um, that's all I have to say about that.